everybody. I'm Thierry Huguin. I'm a director in the product management team and I'm leading the smart portfolio. And my name is Laurent Aigu. I'm uh, responsible for the WP Next Generation. So we've seen on the video that uh, we are announcing a new product series, the Next Generation of WP Series. Seems to be something quite innovative with a lot of uh, capabilities. We've heard about uh, global coverage, integration, security, power efficiency. So Laurent, you are the product manager for the next generation of WP. I'm sure that you can help us understanding a bit more what are those features and uh, we can maybe go uh, one by one to get that uh, understood by all the people there. Sure. Okay, so let's start with the integrated device to cloud architecture. Uh, that, that sounds a bit uh, marketing uh, speech. Can you explain a bit more what do we mean by the integrated architecture? Yes, with the new generation of WP, what we offer is, first of all, a very powerful application processor, or Cortex-A5, running at 550 megahertz. On this application processor, we have the open source Legato framework that uh, Jacques has just presented. We also offer a proper set of interfaces, including a GNSS receiver, and this product is natively connected to our cloud platform. So, in other words, with the WP Next Gen, what you can do is you can develop faster your device to cloud solution for Internet of Things. Okay, so we can, we can be fast on the market with the WP series. We've seen also in the video that we can go anywhere on the planet. So we have a global coverage. Can you tell us more what we really concretely have today? So, in our plan today, we have several variants. We are starting with a 3G version, Pentagon, with a worldwide coverage. This first version that you will be able to see in the demo room and in the technical track this afternoon will be available for the market later this year, so end of this year. And then we are going to introduce uh, 4G variants. The development team has already started development on those 4G variants. They will cover North America and Europe. And those 4G variants will be available beginning of 2016. Yeah. Okay, so we can go worldwide 3G, we can go North America and Europe next year 4G. But uh, we know that the, the frequency puzzle for LTE is complex. There are new bonds coming very often. Uh, are we going to be able with the WP to answer those specific market needs like Japan, Australia, Korea? Can we go really everywhere on the planet? Yeah, and this is really a key item of WP. We have made this platform flexible. Ross and Ashish in the next presentation will give you more details, but keep in mind that WP architecture is flexible and that we can add new variants easily. Okay, so we'll go everywhere. We hear more and more about security in the IoT world. Everybody's speaking about security and sometimes they speak more than they do. So why the WP is really a secured platform? What is different inside the WP series compared to what we can find today on the market? So we talked already about uh, integration. Uh, and integration is helping a lot here. We have the application processor and the modem integrated at silicon level. So as an example, it would be extremely difficult to get the data exchanged between the application and the modem. Jacques and Andrew has also talked about security on the Legato framework. So it starts with a secure boot. So the firmware and the software running on WP are authenticated. And thanks to the Legato application framework running on Linux, you can get any of the latest encryption algorithm available on the market. And the last thing I need to mention is the AirVantage connectivity, which is secure because we are loading in our factory unique credential to make the connection safe with the cloud platform. Okay, so the hardware is safe, the software is safe, the connectivity to cloud is safe, so the WP is the safe way to go to the IoT market. We've heard also inside the video about power efficiency. So are we really also changing uh, the, the level of performances we can reach with the WP compared to what we can see today on the market? What are the, the performances level we're going to reach with the WP? So inside the WP, the R&D team has been able to fit all the hardware and all the software 
require to create a true low power domain. What I mean by this low power domain is that we've been able to achieve ultra low power modes running at as low as two microamps, and we are able to execute basic software in, say, 300 microamps. Okay, so microamps uh, idle mode, 100 microamps uh, low power processing. What does it mean concretely for our customers? Uh, what they can do that with that? So with this new low power domain technology that we introduced on WP Next Gen, customers are going to be able to create system running on battery for years. So this is opening to new markets. But I can also say that many markets require power efficiency. So this low power domain is going to benefit to many of those markets. Okay. So we've heard also during uh, the video that uh, the, the product is going to be small. So we know that uh, innovation is often combined to miniaturization. So how small is it really? Very small. <laughs> in fact, I got one of them in my pocket. And I'm pretty sure even the third row can't even see what's written on the level. So, what uh, our development team has managed is that they have managed to fit all the nice features we've presented into the same form factor we introduced 18 months ago on the HL. And the result is just amazing. What we are announcing today is the smallest 4G device on the market with proper 3G and 2G uh, fallback. Okay, so we've got some application processor, different band grouping, low power components, all that in same such uh, small form factor. Can you give us uh, the secret? Uh... There is no secret, in fact. Uh, Ashish uh, is going to give a lot of details in the next presentation to explain you how we have created this uh, new concept of form factor and this new technology, which is innovative today. Okay, thank you very much, Laurent, for all those uh, details and all those explanations. So we've been really successful in the automotive market with uh, Legato uh, during the past year. We really think now with the WP we're going to enable uh, the access to Legato to the industrial market. And uh, we think the WP uh, next generation is really the, the product answering all those challenges we are uh, trying to answer on the uh, industrial market for uh, IoT world. Thank you. Thank you.